that's the way we came and eventually it'll take you all the way to Newburyport if you can figure out how to get through the near-term woods. Here's some awesome bayberry, barberry, whatever growing. Birds love that stuff. Here's an old pump house ruin. You, you can actually go inside this thing. It's still kind of workable. It isn't completely rotted out yet, although I don't know why you'd want to. And there's some sign that probably tells you no trespassing, but it's long since rotted away. Pretty funny little shack. Now we're in the home stretch. There's the charming little pump shack. Kind of a causeway. You can see the bog structure off through the woods here. Let's see, let's take a look at this blazing. You know, that really does look like it was done very recently. So this is all probably work in progress. I see, it's a little bit of a... Road run through some woods. Now we're really up close to the pond edge on the eastern side. Another raptor. I don't know if I'm catching him very well. You get a nice general sense of the lay of the place. Ah, I see, that's another pump house that's kind of in the middle of all this. You don't actually see it from the trail, but we could observe it on that opposite side. Yeah, it's got a lot of charm to it. We head this way, and we're nearly out of here. That train out in the distance doing commuter runs over in Hanson. Up and there's another indicative blaze with a confidence blaze, all blazing all the time. Yeah, this definitely looks like they did it like in the past month. This 
see the how new that looks? That particular piece on the pole. Yeah. That looks pretty fresh. Right. Right. Meat on metal. It's a bad design concept, as Glenn would say. I have no other. I know. <laughs> Until a, a semi runs over you because it can't even see you. Yeah. No, I'm talking about Harleys. Need on metal, bad design cuts. <laughs> All right, and this is where we part from the whole system. And we should be in the parking lot momentarily. This is where we came from. It has towards the north and a big bend around the Tubbs Meadow bog system. This is another trail that you can explore in here that brings you along the southern base of Tubbs Meadow. And this is our easy and breezy way back to the parking lot, which we'll enter momentarily. And here comes a bounding pooch our way. These places are very popular as spots to bring Fido. It seems to be the main purpose they serve. And here we have the placid little outlet pond. A farewell to the entire Tubbs Meadow system. This is a charming little observation platform, I believe, recently made by an Eagle Scout kid. There's the trail heading towards Newburyport, ultimately. And heading this way, it's a short poke back to the parking lot. turn indicated. Up we go and lo and behold it's the parking lot in all its majesty. Here you have the funny little kiosk, the gate zone, the bay circuit confidence plays. Pit bull propaganda. And so forth. All in all, it's a pretty pleasant place, and the locals definitely appreciate it. It's a worthy hike. If we can only figure out how the Bay Circuit Trail reliably ties in, we'll be golden. We spoke with a local resident woman who also alluded to the utter confusion one runs into on the 
western side of this thing. And we actually have some pretty decent indicative signing. Preserving the Irreplaceable, a cooperative conservation project between the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, citizens of Pembroke, Pembroke Conservation Commission, Pembroke Open Space Committee, Pembroke Department of Public Works, and the city of Brockton. In all its glory. And there's a more ancient sign over there.